Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, and welcome to more Rome 2 Total War, and welcome to a brand new series. This one's going to be a Yukitsu's tour through time as I play through all of the different eras of Total War, that means Roman era, the medieval era, the Japanese Sengoku period, the um, Napoleonic era, or the uh, Imperial Empire Total War era. So it's going to be just a ton of different campaigns. We're going to play all of them on the hardest difficulty available, which means for Rome 2, Legendary. And for the other ones, it's going to be very hard uh, or legendary for Shogun. So we're going to be doing it with the hardest faction that I can think of, the one that I think is hardest, or the one that most people think is hardest. For this one, that's Epirus, I believe. So let's get this started. Yeah, this should be this should be awful. I should be maimed immediately and just go completely insane. It'll be great. Okay, welcome to the campaign map over here. Let's uh, get things rolling. Let's see how things are working out here. What we want to do first of all is uh, go scout out this area where the Spartans are and try and level up our uh, spy here. If things go well with our spy, we might be able to easily invade Sparta. Let's see. Yep, that went well. That means that we're going to get a level for our spy. And uh, this person has a lot of traits. Wow, what are these? Uh, let's see, Poisoner, Public Speaker, plus two Zeal, so six Zeal, wow, Clever Tongue, plus two Zeal, this person's got a lot going on as far as that goes. Let's see here, plus five Line of Sight, Military Intelligence, plus minus three percent success chance of enemy Asian actions, okay, and uh, minus five percent of the chance of discovering, or plus five percent chance of uh, discovering hidden enemies, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick Spy here. Because I know that Sparta has a spy lingering around here. I don't want uh, their spy catching ours. Uh, so we might be able to actually attack from Larissa. So we're going to go ahead and move our forces down from there. Uh, we're going to, however, take our army with uh, Pyrus and go take Epidemnos right away before uh, they can really do anything to us. Since they like declaring war on us, I think it's only fair that we declare war on them. We're going to need to pick up a single unit of mercenaries from uh, this region over here. So we're going to pick up this mercenary Illyrian cavalry, really inexpensive, but uh, they'll do the job here. Going to be sacrificial. Now, we're outnumbered like 3 to 1, but elephants have been made so bullshit in this patch that I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to beat them with that, just basically rampaging over their forces with the elephants. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go check out the army. It's not even just the fact that they're using cheap units too, like the elephants perfectly capable of rampaging straight over like higher quality units right now it's ridiculous probably gonna get nerfed it's kind of silly okay we're on the battlefield now it's dry we're gonna try and go for a rainy day here yep rain that's good actually Rain or fog would have been good, um, but basically anything that reduces the effectiveness of missiles coming in against my elephants. We're basically going to have our elephants forefront of the army. They're just going to be uh, there to absolutely crush anything that gets even remotely in our way. Let's get our Illyrian cavalry right there. Pike wall right behind. And then we're going to have our archers back here, slingers back here. Slings and arrows, you know, the whole thing. Alright, so here we're ready. Let's rumble. And this is going to just be a pretty good demonstration as to what is wrong with elephants right now. They're just so, so broken right now. It's not even funny. Okay, yeah. Aim my slings right at their general right off the bat here. Um, and then we're just going to charge straight through their center with our elephants against braced spearmen. It's going to be brutal and terrible and fantastic. Let's get our general up here as well. Quickly now! Forward! Illyrian cavalry! Okay. Once they hit, we're going to change our charge over to these slave slingers. Our general is under attack! My lord! Looks like our elephants are under a missile fire. I want to get my Illyrian cavalry over there really quickly so that our elephants don't take too much damage. Okay, 
Okay. Things are looking good. Might be able to trample over these Illyrian tribesmen. Actually, no, there's slingers back there, so we're gonna go for them first. Oh, we're shooting at our own elephants, that's not good. Orders understood. Okay, let's head on over to these guys over here. Warriors! The men are wavering. Now we're gonna probably lose these Illyrian cavalry, but I just hired them as a throwaway unit to get rid of those uh, ranged units over there. So that's basically going to be their entire job. We are at your command. If we look at our elephants, they've already got over 500 kills. Engage. Ah, uh, just stepping on people. It's beautiful. Alright, that's a heroic victory. Easy one to get because elephants are broken. That applies to Matchmade too. Just, yeah, ridiculous. 624 kills. I've lost like 53 men out of this army and most of them are from a unit that I'm getting rid of this turn. So, yep, that's, uh, that's elephants in a nutshell. Okay, now a lot of times I like looting places, but I'm going to have to just, uh, not loot here because I can't afford to uh, deal with rebellions right now as Epirus because I have far too many em enemies. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and take Epidamnos over here. Uh, not really the best province but it's okay because it's got a port which is the nice part about it. Uh, we've got the capital up here that we want to take and we've got Yader all the way up the coast that we'll also want to take eventually but that's for quite a while from now. For now let's uh see here we got our spy down here we're gonna try and um sabotage those guys again next turn for now though we're going to start recruiting some troops for this army here we're gonna go ahead get um a slinger and a levy pike unit so it's gonna bolster up those guys just a little bit and then we're gonna start building up our cities a little we're gonna get the colonist village upgrade and we're going to get a farm over in larissa so that'll help us with our fairly low food supply that we've got here. Looks like we can actually afford even one more slinger if we want, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Up in Epidamnos, I need to get rid of these uh, guys, even though they did a fantastic job and they're a little bit veteran now. Actually, no, they didn't get too much veterancy, so we're, ju we're just going to get rid of them regardless. Um, but, like, if we look at our army up here, our elephants are ridiculously strong right now, so we're going to be pretty happy about that. Here's Pyrus, um, plus one zeal from Constancy. That's um, plus 10% morale for his unit. That's not all that good. I'm going to give him Warrior because we're going to need him to fight fights for us. Okay. Things are looking pretty good here. So one of the ways that I can try and uh, get my elephants down there is uh, to recruit a, an army up here. We can uh, get Telosphoros, who's a statesman. Uh, one of the other ways is I can get my fleet up here. No, no, I can't do that because uh, General is out of movement, so that's unfortunate. But uh, we could theoretically get a uh, general up in Epidamnos and have him run the army down south. But uh, for now, let's just Greetings, go check. my friend. You have my ear for your. Okay, so we've got a trade agreement with Macedon that'll help with our money a little bit. God have me listen to you. We've got another one with the Etruscan League. Sometimes the Triboli will trade with us. Speak plain and with. No. There's also been Enter a glitch where, like, if you uh, click on a guy, trade with him, and he says no, Greetings and then you try you. again, he'll I trade with you the second time. Uh, not sure what's causing that, but it's a pretty interesting to you. problem. I think it's because Greetings. there's sort of like a random chance or something in the menu. But uh, yeah, let's go look at the Trabali again and see a if that does it. Tongue that speaks without no. Okay, so that's all of the trade opportunity we've got for now. It's increased our revenue quite a bit. Uh, we're going to have to hope that that's enough. Hmm. I'm really waffling on whether or not I should be getting the uh, getting that extra general to bring that elephant down there. I'm wondering what the upkeep is on these guys. It's 140. That's not too terrible. Let's go ahead and do it. He's free, so it's not going to cost me anything yet. Uh, we're going to take him, do an army merger here. And uh, there we go. Okay, now he can't move because his units have uh, gone too far, but what I can do is force march him, which will get us over to Apollonia. 
And as you can see, it's reduced our upkeep just a little bit, but we should be able to be okay next turn. Let's see here. Is anyone doing anything? Looks like everyone's just basically staying still right now. Which is fine by me. We have war. Oh, no. the Syracuse is, is declaring war on us. Syracuse does way. tend to declare war on us. We're also at war with Sparta though, so uh, we might be able to... Sparta well. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Now, if our spy goes down to uh, these guys and successfully sabotages their army, we can walk this army down here and attack Sparta directly without them uh, reinforcing. Now, it doesn't look like they've managed to reinforce those armies at all yet, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try. I cannot continue. Military sabotage. Wreck baggage train. 40, 403, but it's 67%. Let's see here. Target stopped. Target slowed. Hmm. Let's see here. All I need is for the target to be stopped, so this is actually a quite decent boost in that outcome, so let's go ahead here. Let's see. Okay, well we're allowed to make another attempt it looks like. Military sabotage again. Let's go with poison provisions again. Okay, so that worked. That did cost us way more money than I really would have liked, though, so we uh, have to stop one of our upgrades if we want to take this place, which is fine by me. Um, okay, let's get a little bit better at assassination there. Uh, what we can do is we can cancel this upgrade to the Hellenistic Village, and that will return us enough funds to fun fully uh, mercenary up this army here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I also like the mercenary cultists, so we're going to go ahead and hire all of those guys. That'll be good enough. We can now walk down to Sparta. And uh, these guys over here can't do anything at all to stop us. We can encircle for now. Wondering if these guys can make it anywhere close to... Holy crap, I think they can. Okay, let's get as close as we can with these guys. Shelter for the gods. Okay, I think we're in reinforcing range. I'm not positive, uh, but in any event, we can get more mercenaries here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And that's going to be like a ton of money. As you can see, our income is just gone. But uh, we've got lots of troops now to attack Sparta with, including those reinforcing units. Okay, so let's go ahead and assault. Okay, so one of the nice things about having mercenary hoplites as opposed to your own hoplites is that these guys, if they all get killed, I don't really have to care. All I have to care about is uh, preserving some of my own units potentially, maybe, and even then it doesn't really matter tremendously. It's a rainy day, that's perfect. Let's start deployment here. Okay, so um, I'm going to want to skirmish with the Spartans just a little bit before uh, our reinforcements arrive. I'm not really sure what direction the reinforcements are going to end up coming in from, so we're just going to sort of set up over here. Mercenary veteran hoplites, I didn't, uh, damn it, notice that I hired mercenary veteran ones. Those guys are actually pretty strong, so we're going to be happy to have them on board. Okay, so this will be our army. Where the hell are these guys? Okay, well, whatever. Okay. Now, again, we're not actually going to attack just yet. We're going to wait for those reinforcements to come on field before we commit to an actual assault. But we are going to just skirmish up against those Spartans if we can. Our reinforcements have arrived! Okay, so where is this elephant? Good. They're not, uh like way behind our army somewhere or on the other side of the city. Orders understood. Hell tasks. Ready. Come on. Orders understood. Guys up here. 
slingers. Now these slingers that I've got here uh, are some of the worst quality slingers in the game. They've only got like 16 damage, so they're not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage to these Spartan the Hoplites. But uh, it, it's better than nothing, so what we're going to do is just let them pelt away at them and see if we can draw them a little bit out of position, harass their lines a little bit. And maybe we'll be able to get some kills even. Um, hmm. I'm worried that they... I'm pretty sure they have got um, some pikemen somewhere, but I don't really remember for sure. Pikemen got nerfed, so it's not as big a concern, but they're still something that we have to sort of be careful about, because pikes, obviously, it's just not something we want to have to attack in these narrow streets like this. Even our elephants will not do necessarily all that well against that sort of thing. Okay, so now we're attacking the sort of unit that we want to be attacking, I think. Yeah. Let's go with that. As long as I'm hitting some of these hella javelin men, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Javelin men! Understood! Javelins now uh, do a lot more damage than they did in previous versions, so they're a pretty good addition to this army. Uh, I'm a lot happier Advance having them speed. now than I used to be. At speed. Your orders. Nope, I think we've done gone and pissed them off. Let's get a volley and then uh, retreat our units all back. I'm turning their backs on my uh, javelins there, so it'll be some good shots. Okay, so let's get back here. Got some good damage there. Yeah, there we go. Nice side shots, nice rear shots. I need to really disable that. They added that option actually to disable that. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Okay, so let's. Catch my javelin, and because that one little guy there, that's kind of hilarious. General, quickly now! Slingers! Okay, those elephants have made that a fairly easy cleanup there. We're not going to get careless now, though, because we've still got a lot of reasons that we've got an advantage here. No reason to squander it. we were wasting uh, shots from our mercenary cultists against uh, retreating units, which is really bad. Let's take them off fire at will. Let's take as you come off up. fire at will as well. Fire on the enemy! Javelin men! Element Royal Cavalry! Okay, we want to get set up to charge these uh, Spartan hoplites in the back here. To charge! Boom, nice big hit. Our general yeah, is under works. attack! If any of them get too far up, we can just sort of hit them with our elephants. And it'll be fine. Draw our skirmishers all back. Yes, let's commander. just get all of them. Elephants ready for battle. Hop platoons. Spear infantry at your command. Okay, so those Spartans are all dead. These ones are getting hit in the side by elephants. It's going to really ruin their day as they all get stepped on, smushed, 
And uh, they're being flank attacked too while they're at it, so yeah, that's that's them guy. So the AI is doing something a little bit stupid. I wish it would uh, be more decisive in these situations instead of just sort of throwing unit at a time at me. But uh, yeah, this is a nice, slow, methodical way to beat the AI if you don't feel like being honest about it. <laughs> Frankly, this is kind of the uh, cheesy way of doing it. It's just sort of like one unit at a time heading in here. anything anymore. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so elephants. I'm just gonna wreck through those guys. What I want you guys to be charging is over that way. Um, okay, let's get these guys to stop firing. Okay, a lot of our elephants are dead, our units has gone berserk. we've actually basically taken Sparta now, so I don't really need them anymore, which is why I'm going to let them sort of potentially all die off. The Royal Spartans could potentially pose a problem, but uh, it's nothing so bad. Oh, we still got an elephant alive here. We've actually still got... Yeah, we still got an elephant alive. Two. In fact, don't know where the second one is. Okay, let's get our pikes to run into these guys. I don't know how they made it when everyone else didn't. The but, enemy uh, general is dead. Yeah, that's that. Oh crap! What the hell are these guys? Those are probably Spartan units starting their flank. Yes, our general has fallen. Which of our generals? Is Oh, it's probably this one. Probably just ran into a Spartan unit and died. Okay, so let's get this cavalry out of here before the same thing happens to this general. Let's get our elephants out of here. This way we can save them, the is turning in our favor. keep them against Athens. Okay, now Spartan units are pretty bad, so we're not going to worry too much about them. You know what, this guy's general is, uh, this unit's general is actually just dead, so there's no point really protecting him. Unless I actually am wrong, and it is this guy whose general died, but I'm thinking it's probably these guys. There's probably something I should check, honestly. And that's gonna probably be basically just a chain route now. Pretty much just a blob attack from me, but uh, you know, sometimes you don't feel that inspired to do a really fancy battle against the AI. Okay. Lots and lots of death on the Spartan side. We only lost 338 men. It's not too bad considering we also killed Royal Spartans. Decisive victory. We could loot these guys. That would uh, let us 
rebuild some of the stuff that we wanted to, but we're gonna just occupy and then just uh, rebuild later. Lusperos is dead. Uh, that's that's okay though. Cebius still alive. Uh, we're gonna have to find one of these guys. Other families from all of them. That's fine. Let's just take. Um, oops. Okay, so he's got all threes, all threes, all three, three, and four. So this guy's a little bit superior for some reason. Go ahead, pick him. That's your command. So new general for these guys. That's fine. The Spartans over there are potentially just going to go wipe these guys out. Um, but more likely, they're I think they're I think they're programmed right now to suicide against the city. So that should be okay. Ready for battle. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these veterans here um, because they are ruining our economy. Okay, get out there. Okay, what's this guy good at? Plus one food, local province, plus one growth. That's good. Now this guy's going to be a... looks like... Uh, let's give him a cunning general. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to be able to probably beat these Spartans if they come back here. Try and go for another round against us. But we're going to try and save most of our money so that um, start of next turn we'll be able to remake uh, that so upgrade great. that we wanted. It's a good life. Hmm doesn't look like we were going to be able to afford anything really so we're just going to end the turn here and I think this is pretty much going to be the extent of the video for now let's go ahead and hit end turn are they going to ambush uh, my general that's in the field there or are they going to our oh, joint impact. enemies would tremble if we were your allies okay your strength that is perfectly fine by me I should have tried to get some money off them from it, but uh, yeah, that's what I thought. They're just uh, directly coming in and attacking. Uh, we've got pretty much nothing on the field in terms of all of those. Uh, like, we have all of these garrison, but they're all like 10 men strong or some nonsense. So they're just not realistically even there, but uh, they're general units at half strength already. And all they've got are perioikoids, yeah! so uh, this shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and fight this on the, um, wherever this is. Okay, so it's, uh, looks like they chose to attack in the rain. That's very foolish of them. Okay, the Spartans have, uh, deployed over here. We're going to go ahead and deploy our units to sort of, uh, counter that. Yep, thanks, thanks, uh, Militia. That's fantastic something awesome okay so uh going to keep our main body of uh missile units just back here like this uh and have them sort of rain death on anything coming down that corridor so we're going to try and hold off anything that tries to come down there uh we're going to have some units over here just sort of be there theoretically but uh, we're going to try and hold out here with our pikes uh, to a certain degree Gonna hold off over here with our heavier hoplites. Be able to uh, hopefully, hopefully fend off the enemy a little bit more aggressively. Just more shit units over there. Right. Well, I think this is about the best we're able to do with what we've got here. Uh, let's just go ahead and see how this works. Take up your arms, you soldiers. Today. Our reinforcements have arrived. Okay, so let's get our All elephants into here. Um, theoretically, so they'll be able to. No what I really want to do with these guys is just the have them be there for the morale penalty. And it looks like our general from behind is gonna. If I am careful, he can probably take out their peltists. So that could be good. Slingers. Okay, now I just have to see which side they're going to. Looks like they want to go to my right, so let's get our units over there. Orders understood. Quickly now. Missile infantry ready. Okay. 
guys are pegging away with the rocks. Good for you guys. It's, uh, that's the spirit. Militia! Okay, now these guys are probably just going to, like, break on contact or something, but it's worth going in, I guess. Maybe. Jeez. Alright, you guys, sacrifice your lives for the glory of Epirus. This is going to have a catastrophic effect perish. on my, uh... <laughs> this is going to have a catastrophic what effect on my morale, ready? I can just tell. Okay. Unit has perished. I think like six of the entire units have uh, perished here. Okay, let's get these guys over here. On advance at speed. I don't want our elephants getting too close to the actual combat here. taking some shots. Hopefully he'll be able to get in there before they can kill him. The battle is turning in our favor. Here. Gotta try and finish this off quickly now. Before they can kill our elephants. Second like when these guys trample. Victoria, lead us! Victoria lead us. Is under attack. Okay, that hopefully will kill these uh Royal Spartans. Yep, there we go. We lost one elephant. Good. Down to one elephant. One solitary lonely elephant. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, release the captives. What we're hoping to do here is get the uh, Syracusans, Syracusians off our tail. And that means uh, releasing captives for the most part. Okay, so our armies have advanced a little bit. That's good. Ready for battle. Let's go ahead and give these guys a tradition. Now you can get uh, formidable spearmen, uh, plus damage with spears, plus damage with missile weapons or siege architectures, enables constructions me medium siege engines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get formidable spearmen since that's sort of the most reasonable thing to take in the general sense. Um, if I get rid of these guys here, uh, this assassin is going to go away, so I'm going to check to actually see what my odds are of oops, uh, assassination here. Looks like I don't have that great of odds, and it costs way too much money to assassinate their general. Um, what I could do is I could um, sabotage their army and then uh, deal with them that way. What I'm going to do for now, though, 
I can't remember how to... Oh, right. Uh, if I put these guys, recruit a unit, these guys are going to automatically go into a stance called uh, mustering, which means that we're going to have a higher replenishment rate, which means that we're going to have more elephants in this army, which is good. Uh, on the other hand, the demons of Tolmos, uh, we're going to go use them to go finish off the Terra Phobos over here. And uh, if we take them out, those uh, spies will disappear. So if we look at this, it's so much in our favor. Uh, we can't really lose this. We're going to auto-resolve it. Um, aggressive stance, very high, very high. It's just like all... Uh, it's 99% if we go protective stance, but I think some of them might survive. It's a good way to get levels for your armies, though, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm guessing that, yeah, he's just dead. The Spartans are just gone. We're going to release captives again. Okay, another level for Eusebius. He's going to go back to Sparta. Let's see, I've given him strategist. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, tactician is a really good ability. It gives him much more movement, so he'll be able to get around the field a little bit better. Commander. We're going to start uh, more mongering a little bit against Athens. So I'm going to send my spy up here uh, to check out what's going on in Athens. If you look at them, they've still got fairly small armies, but they've got them at sea, which makes them a little bit protected against me and my armies here. And they've also got walls, which is going to make it very difficult for me to invade them properly. So we're going to have to try and figure out a way to uh, maybe split their forces or do something uh, similar to that. But for now, let's just have our spy hang out there. We're going to have... Uh, our Larissa improve our herding grounds for now, perhaps. Let's look at our uh, options for construction, though, first. We're going to go with tax labor. The reason we're going with tax labor is that growth is useful early on in the game. Uh, so what we're going to be able to do is get our cities to grow quickly and start adding in these uh, new population surplus bonus buildings. So we've almost got a new one in uh, Macedonia region, uh, which we don't control because Macedon is the province capital of Macedon. Um, what we might be able to do, maybe compel Your Carthage to give us a trade agreement. Uh, we Your can sometimes literally just do this. Speak, I don't know why. And they will... No, they don't actually want to do this this time. I swear it works sometimes. I swear it does. Okay, so let's try the Trevali. You are welcome, Orthoman. No. And uh, let's see if we can get a peace agreement with Syracuse. I give you greeting and my attention. They want this $200. Can... No, we're going to have to reject that this offer. Um, actually, let's see Greetings. if we can do this. Let's do see if we can get the peace treaty. They're offering a hundred. The offer counter offer. From a position of strength. Add trade agreements. To offer peace otherwise is simple cowardice. Let's see if we can get them. With two hundred dollars, two hundred sixty dollars, whatever. Looks like they're not interested in trade. Is the big you problem have here? So. Much. I would really like to have been rational bastards. or clear headed. I cannot agree. I would really like to trade some of you bastards. Okay, so how is Carthage actually doing? Uh, they're confident and unreliable. Do they actually have any power right now? They're at war with an awful lot of people. Uh, initiate diplomacy. Today is a good day to discuss um, topics of we can mutual probably benefit. get these guys if we give them a basic payment, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. What? So that's made them a little bit uh, more friendly to us as well, I think. So we're, we're also going to try the... Uh, ooh, do we want to try trading with the Triboli? Let's I give it a try. Trade agreement speaker. and let's offer them a I little bit of pay too. Since we've got a little bit of money. Honor. No. Uh, Sardes? Who to do? No, I don't think anyone else is going to be willing to trade with us at all. So we're just going to have to be stuck with what we've got here. Start moving this fleet around down here. We're going to want them to be in position to attack Athens. Uh, and we're going to want to have another okay. army in position in Larissa to stop a movement from Pella attacking us. Because what happens is if we attack Athens, sometimes even though we've got a non-aggression pact with Macedon, they might attack us. Uh, because they've got a defensive pact Ready with Athens. So one of the other things I also need to consider is what naval assets are here so that I can go attack the Athenian fleet and harbor here. And uh, if I can take them out, I'll be able to attack these guys uh, with a much more limited force raid against me. So we're going to go ahead and prepare for that. Hope for that at any rate. Uh, we're going to get... I really want to create something to get more money. Herding grounds are a good way to get a little bit more money, but it's not really that much. So 
I think we're actually good for now. Apollonia, Epidemnos. Uh, one of the things I want to be able to get as well is the harbor, which is a trade port, but they're really expensive. So we're going to have to stick with what we have for now um, and just see what we can do. So since we can't do any of that, let's uh, go ahead and upgrade our army a little bit. And that ought to be um, enough, hopefully, to take out Athens pretty quickly. Cretan archers available. Tarantine cavalry, uh, looks like. Is that Tarantine? Yeah, Tarantines. Okay, and way up here, uh, Pyrus is just chilling, so let's uh, hit and turn. I think I said, like, at last time, it, this is just one of those games. It's like, one more turn, one more turn. Uh, but yeah, this, that was definitely the last turn, so we're going to call it quits now. Uh, looks like Athens. As clouds gather, wise men look for friends to shelter them. In you, I believe we... Yeah, sure, let's uh, go ahead with that. The Etruscans have decided they want a peace treaty with us. Uh, they're pretty much going to be off the map pretty soon, but that's uh, the way of things sometimes. Okay, and that is definitely the that is the last last turn that we're going to have here. Uh, let's see here. Untrustworthy. Who's this? Pyrus of Epirus is untrustworthy. Um, that actually fits him pretty well. But anyway, we're done for now. We're totally, we're just, we're finished. We have done as much as we're going to do for today. Uh, next up is going to be a video by Medieval, about Medieval 2 Total War. I've actually already filmed that one. It's uh, the first one I did. I was just waiting for patch 7 to come out on this before I did it. But uh, yeah, that's our first tour through time. The Roman period as the Epirin faction, and uh, yeah, next up we're going to be taking out Athens, but until then, I hope you all enjoyed this, and as always, I hope to see you all next time.